<clears throat> All right, if you notice in the whole movie at the end of it where they had the three Transgallions? There are three, no, it's three Hella carriers. They had a targeting program because of the algorithm, which the algorithm will be explained more in the series because there's a lot of crap that links back to the series. So, or should I say a lot of webbed up stuff that is... Oh, anyways, the Hella Kelly, Hella Kelly, Hella Carriers had a system that linked up to satellites that basically used the algorithm to pick off everyone that is of interest or of threat. And two of them that was name dropped was Stephen Strange and Bruce Banner. One thing about Stephen Strange is that he was. He's the AKA Doctor Strange, of course. The sad thing is the reason why I wouldn't pick up because I know Strange. I heard Strange. The only messed up thing is I, because of two of the things that he was featured in anime wise or cartoon wise, they used a Victor. That's why I couldn't pinpoint him is because they used the word Victor Strange, not Stephen Strange, Victor so that's why I couldn't pick it up because I was like, hmm, Strange. I know it's Doctor Strange, but it's Steven on there. It's not Victor, which that was his middle name, it turns out. But yeah, he's known as Victor Strange, though. Yeah. Anyways, you also have Bruce Banner. The only thing I can say is even if you target him, you can't destroy the Hulk. Yeah, you have the blaster guns and stuff like that, but guess what? You can't destroy the Hulk. If you can destroy the Hulk by that weapon, then how come the Atari, when shooting the Hulk, was... Yeah, he was still alive by the end of the Avengers movie, so that means that it will still be no effect. Instead, you... You're going to have to contain him, yeah. That's the only way. You have to contain him and not make him piss like in the original Hulk movie. Because we all seen what happens when Hulk is pissed and he's in the jar. Yeah, we all seen that. So, there are so many names dropped. I can't really go out through all the tire, all the names that he gave us and list every single one saying, yeah, that's the person who's this, that's the person who's that, that's mutants, mutant, mutant, well, I can't say mutant, it, I can only say miracle, 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 <laughs> uh, even though I kind of made a funny thing of, why didn't they call it the age of M, and if, and the worst part about that is that even if I say they can make it the age of M, which they still did a good play on words on it either way, what if they wanted to make House of M? Yeah, then I would say, oh, dang, I messed up. <laughs> but, yeah, Age of Miracles. So, all mutants that they listed on there are miracles. So, Xavier, Miracle. <laughs> uh, which we not yet have data of them having the X-Men in there. Because, well, since Fox owns them, there's no telling exactly what they could have done if they did have ownership. All right, that's basically it. Yeah, there's that's just straight through nothingness. Of course, all we can say is maybe a movie for Doctor Strange is in the future. Maybe they'll actually have a Hulk sequel. Well, they can't even do a Hulk sequel. <laughs> yeah, because they screwed Edward Norton. <laughs> they screwed Edward Norton over, over saying, "Oh yeah, um." He can't fit with the cast. He doesn't have that chemistry that Ruvalo has. Um, then why didn't you, in the first place, hire Ruvalo so it won't be the whole, oh, it's Terrence Howard all over again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're going to have to just cut costs. I bet chances are, yeah, I know that that would have been messed up sacrifice, but I would have rather you change Don Cheeto in the first place Instead of being like, hey, the Hotel Rwanda guy took over Terrence Howard's part. Boo. I mean, he's a good one. He's a good roadie, especially matching him from Armored Adventures. He's a good roadie. The only messed up part is that, and this comes to a ramble now, but I'm just going to close it here and just say, 
you could have thought it better. That's all I'm saying. You could have thought it better. But it was good, though. It's very good. I'm glad you did all this. I'm glad you do have a Hulk movie that actually links everything together. I would have actually thought more of the fact of since... I don't know. How do, how in the world are you going to do a Hulk sequel if... Yeah. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I can see you did an Iron Man 2 sequel and... But the main character wasn't switched. So does that mean the whole entire cast for Incredible Hulk will now be switched? Yeah. I mean, even if you bring back the original cast of it, but Edward Norton's not there, it's going to kind of be like, okay, this is weird. Weird. So thank you for listening. And coming up next is Falcon's New Testament.